Hello and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. We're here uh, after nabbing the net last star piece from Johnny. Let's head back to Seaside Town and see if we can figure this out. Hehe, <laughs> you found the star. Well done. But your journey ends here. You were so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yardovich, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked. It's no wonder my impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. Get serious. So that's how you want to play it. What do you think will happen to the real inhabitants of Seaside Town? What are you doing? No, don't do that. No, please stop. Eck. Now, isn't it a shame for an innocent old man to be tickled like this? <laughs> it's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. Okay. You got me. It's a thing. I got a star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius. It scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. All right, everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. A ride should be here about now. Not if I have anything to say about it. All right, let's switch up the party here. And get Bowser back in. And... I kind of want to just do crazy amounts of damage, but let me roll with this team for a minute. It's kind of a cool team. Uh, also, man, I wish I could buy something. Blade's late. What's taking him so long? We need to get out of here. Oh, this is just great. Mario caught up with us. Only one thing we can do now, although we may rust a little, we'll have to swim for it. Not so fast there. That star is a gift to me mate, Mario. You spineless dogs have no code of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. I guess we'll have to take our disguises off now. Group formation. Okay, um, I gotta learn how to do this shocker move. Probably a good time to heal. You know, I'm starting to think group hug would have been pretty good here. Oh no! not good. That's not good at all. Oh, Mirage Attack. That's not good. Let's see what Poison Gas does. Oh, 
There's one of these guys that we do, like, no damage to. I know. wonder if that's the fake one. damage at all. Oh, that water blast. So strong. Sheesh. Keep them all at, like max health. Hopefully, he doesn't do another water blaster. I'm toast. Bad time to miss that action command. That's not good. Bowser's done. Running out of pick me ups. Peach would have been a good choice in this level. <laughs> uh, I wish there was like party switching. That would be that would be cool. Like in the middle of a battle. No, this looks bad. Oh, I should have saved the game. I think that's the last one. This is gonna be a close one. Woo! You have to prioritize Mallow and Bowser at this point. Ooh. My lack of mushrooms is starting to hurt me. I got what froggy. Oh, froggy drink. I think that heals everybody. Does the Kiro Cola do that? I don't remember. Alright, well, Mushroom's only gonna heal me 30, so might as well just attack. Get one last attack out of Mario. Alright, still in the game. There we go. What a tough battle.
All right, what is the bonus for 13? It's going to be HP, so I'll do that. Smithy is now in the race for the star pieces. What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? Oh, I guess Johnny's gone. Oh, a key. The shed key to Mario. Knowing you, it must have been a breeze knocking down yar Yarid, huh? By the way, my pirates say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, my gills are failing on me, so I'll be heading back down. Drop in whenever you have time, okay? Your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. That's cool. Made a little buddy out there in the, the ocean. But what is the shed? Maybe that's this? Phew, thanks so much. I've had enough of cramped, dirty old places like this. Hey, fella. You got us out of a bind. Peace, brother. It was mighty unpleasant in there. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Yeah, stop on by. Thank you for freeing us. I've got to get back to work now, but stop by the inn. See you there. Ah, Mario. Thank you for saving our little town of Seaside. They did torture me a little. But it's nothing to worry about. Here, this is for you. Alright, got a flower jar for our troubles. It's almost better than the star piece. Now we can check into the shops and such and see if we can spend some of these coins. Beetles are us. What? We run a beetle business here. Want an explanation? Okay, I'll explain the system. First, you need to purchase a beetle box, which will cost 50 coins. Then go to Booster Hill, where there are many beetles. If you bring back the beetle box filled with beetles, you can trade them for coins, etc. Check the menu for more information. Ooh, if I got a golden beetle, I could get a frog coin. Oh man, I have to pay a bunch of money. So 150 coins gets us uh, a beetle box. Everything looks fine. Here's your beetle box. Good luck and happy hunting. Man. All right, let's check into the weapon shop. Got the Troopa Shell. I think most of these are going to be better than what I have. The Ribbit Stick. Looks like they've got some of the older weapons, too. Please come in and browse. I'm running an armor, armor shop. So we got the, all the sailor stuff, which we already have. But do we have anything more interesting than that? Does not look like it. So it looks like Troopa Shell is the exact same attack power for Mario. That's really interesting, actually. Uh, the Ribbit Stick increase in power for Mallow. Get the Parasol for Peach. And the double punch for Genome. Wow. Wish I got to shop here before uh, this point. I'm back at 700 coins, so we're not doing too bad. 
We sell like special items here? Hi Mario, we got a lot of health foods at our store. You gotta get your treat your body right. All right, I should buy a couple of those. Uh oh. Okay, I think that'll work. And now I can buy two more pick me ups. Five should be enough. Hey, hey, hey! I'm the mushroom boy! Did you know that hidden amongst the regular mushrooms are some special ones? Unreal, huh? I'll give you items in return for those special mushrooms. But you gotta taste them to find out what kind they are. So I'll take a nibble first. I'm hoping for a special mushroom, but even if it isn't, at least it'll I'll get a meal out of it. No, I don't have any special mushrooms. Okay. Well. Oh, hello there. You were so brave to rescue us, and I'm so thankful. But listen, maybe it's time you thought a little more about what you wear. Accessorizing is a big business th these days. See anything you like here? All right, so I already have the jump shoes. Or any of the antidote pin. Yeah, I don't think any of these are entirely necessary. Seems like that's a place to buy items that you've missed in the adventure. Because a lot of that stuff is just different tools that I already had. But I didn't buy them. I just obtained them through treasure chests and such. Mario, if it's a star that you're looking for, I may be able to help you. At the far side of Land's End is a town made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came by the other day and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. Okay, so that looks like it's our next objective. As far as our frog coins go, we're almost halfway there. And look at that, we have a new path forward. Let's check out Land's End. <laughs> you know, the ant looks kind of scary. Peaches have reached level 13. She learned come back. I think that brings people back when they've fainted, so that's definitely going to be useful. And we'll increase her HP. She gets a crazy HP bonus of 9 whenever she has that as her level up bonus. It's kind of crazy.
Huh. Alright, I'm gonna clear this guy and then try and shoot out of that cannon again and see if I can... ...do a better job this time. Maybe get that treasure. Almost. Get up there. Oh well. Alright, so he's already at 100 HP, so I'm going to hold off on increasing that further. Um, I'm going to instead go for probably more magic attack. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> That's funny. To fight my way through them. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know how this guy keeps missing Bowser. He's kind of a big target. Alright, let's switch out the party. We haven't done this pairing yet.
<laughs> That's a fun attack. Oh man, that did a lot of damage. So what is the alternate path? Is it this? Welcome to the Sky Bridge. It's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo! Want to challenge it? Sure. Okay, I'll need five coins from you. Let's get an explanation. You can cross the Sky Bridge in one of three ways. However, if you fall at any time, you'll lose. On the normal course, you'll make it across by jumping. You get just five coins for that. Special course, blocks will fall, out, fall if your time runs out. You get eight coins there. On the expert course, blocks will fall and the jumps are harder. You'll get a frog coin there. On all the courses, you'll have to jump and avoid the bullet guys. Uh, well, obviously we're going for the expert. No! I didn't realize it's going to be a diagonal <laughs> jump the whole time. Interesting. Okay, so that's where that goes. Cool, cool. Give me my frog coin. Yeah! Ah, haven't been here in a while. I've been busy traveling around. Where are you heading? Is it Monstro Town by any chance? Okay, listen up. Look for the world where the ant pops up and proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monstro Town's just around the corner. I'll see you there. 
Okay, looks like we've checked into a new area here at Land's End. That's where our episode is going to end. Join me next time as we continue the adventure in Super Mario RPG.